Hello everybody, this is Animation 4. We're back playing some FTB Unleashed. This this isn't Unleashed. FTB Resurrection. Um This is not Unleashed. So I've run into a bit of a problem. That I think means I just had to take another route. Um computers and turtles um seem to be having a problem with bundled output. It may be computer craft, it may be MFR and blue power. But as you can see I set bundled output left of to one twenty three, which I didn't figure out exactly which, but that definitely has index one, which is the white line on. So this lamp should be on. Um and when I get bundled output, it's it's trying to. It's trying to output. It thinks it's outputting, but it's not. And that's also true for this bundled cable, which does connect up. But then, I don't know why caps lock is on. I'm going to try to get a white bluestone wire and see if that's working. It's not. So it probably has something to do with computer craft just not outputting its bundled signal. Or something between the mods just not working. But I'm going to have to find another way to do what I'm trying to do using computers. Okay. Maiden voyage of the system. Nice empty room. We have plenty of space to build. There's a little space where I can put that there, make it look better. Okay, so you see right here we got a computer. So I'm just gonna click this. I know I've entered destination one before just to test it, but I haven't actually fully tested it yet. So I'm gonna enter destination one obviously and hit enter. Ta da! It works and it's beautiful. That's what it's exactly supposed to do. It's supposed to bring me to whatever destination I enter. And this just brings me back to the middle of nowhere. So, let me show you how it works. And then I will beautify it up and stuff. So, I hit it right here by this suspicious looking grass block. It's totally just dark glass. It's dark grass, it's not an elevator. Uh, so obviously you have to stand in the right spot. These are, as you can see, carpenter's hatches. They open. And I totally forgot to put in the panel here. These things prefer to be closed, so I have to open them anytime they get an update. It's a bit annoying. But, what? Why can't I put it? Okay, I put one there. Something in the way. So it's got carpenter's hatches. Then I used um, redstone wire to activate them all. This computer right here, um, it's able to control, it's able to have 16 different um, options for transportation. And the only way I could get it to work like that is by, um, I'll actually show you the code real quick. It's obviously in startup, so it runs every time. Pretty simple code. Um, back here I have a wireless modem, you can see it's red, that means it's active, or it's on. Um, I wrapped the, pr the peripheral modem to that, to the back, and I opened channel 3, why are you open channel 3? You should be opening channel 1. I guess it doesn't really matter which one you open, as long as that one is open. I'm transmitting on channel 1 though. Um, while it's true, so just, this is an infinite loop, and I don't need to debug as much, so I will simply print goodbye um, it reads it and then modem.transmit11 total the total is whatever it read so it sends out a signal what's gonna receive the signal though I'll tell you what turtles yay I got a turtle down here it's called the overworld portal turtle um, it's you see nothing here because it's running this startup program right now it's important these are called startup because whenever you leave the dimension, I'm pretty sure they get unloaded. And if it's not called startup, you'll have to come in and turn it back on every time. Um, so this one wraps its peripheral to right because that's where the wireless card is. This is a wireless turtle. I put the thing on the right side and it wraps right, opens one. And just in case, it does turtle.suck. This turtle sucks. Um, then it has the infinite loop. And then this craziness right here. Uh, what I have to do is I have to receive a event. So it receives an event as a six-part um, 
element or code. Um, it receives the event itself, it receives the side it's on, it receives uh, what channel sent it and what channel it recommends to reply to, then it gets the message, then it gets the distance from the sender, and it gets that as os.pullEvent, modem message, and other crazy code. So all I really care about is the message, and the message is going to be whatever I typed in. In this case I typed in 1, so it's sending the number 1 over the, over the wireless, over channel 1. And then it converts that to a number, and then selects that slot. So in this case, I send one. It's going to put book one in. It's going to select book one, and then it does turtle.drop. The reason this has to be a turtle and not a computer is because only turtles can easily interact with the environment. Um, this book receptacle is an inventory with one slot in it. And when you have a book and you do turtle.drop, it'll put the book in the receptacle. And this receptacle is connected to that portal right there. So then it sets the output of left to true, which is this rednet cable. You can't set bundled output, but you can set regular output. And then this goes to this craziness right here. This is the blue stone wire. That, what? That's, look at this. So this is the one that wouldn't let me put it there. So maybe it's because that's there. Let's move that here. Cut the blue wire. Uh, make sure that's connected. It is. For some reason it's rendering wrong. It's. <laughs> it looks like this. I don't know. It's the first time this happened though. Um, sets the output left to true, which opens up all the doors. Um, then sets closes the doors back up, and turtle dot suck pulls the thing back out of the slot. And it looks like this. Maybe I have to rerun startup since I manually terminated. Puts the book in, takes it out, turns it off. Pretty simple process. And with that, I'll be able to transport anywhere I want with the entering of an input. So I just stand on the hatch, go here, tap one, goodbye. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to decorate it up now. It's going to look beautiful. I also have to change this book so it actually puts you back into this room. Not this room. Uh, put you back into the room over there. So I'm going to do that. I have a leather. Cool. Because this is going to be the overworld hub, kind of. And all of them are pretty much going to be identical. And you'll see why that's going to be. And I'll just set you to right here. Bloop. Okay, send me back to one. Hmm. Well, okay then. Game just crashed. I guess startup failed. Like some, I don't know. No idea. Maybe it was a conflict with me just holding the book and clicking on the computer. It didn't know if I was trying to open the book or access the computer, and those overrid each other, and free. Let's deselect the computer and hope that. Oh, deselect the book and hopefully that fixes the problem. Honestly, I don't know which of these was the right one. I think it was this one, the one I just had. Destination one. Oh, goodbye. That's really cool. I like it. You don't need to walk through a portal, you just drop into it. The fact that they were carpenter's hatches means I can decorate the inside of that however I want. Let's see if this brings us to the right spot. Success! Okay. Now is the fun part, hopefully. This button must have data. Stack. That's a st oh, that's a stone cover. <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm like, oh, stack. Why aren't you? You're not stacking with each other. It's because that's a big button and that's stone covers. I'm a doofus. I'm a little doofus. Oh, that was right. 
Yes. No. Get rid of that. Okay. Cool. Now I get to decorate this thing after I get rid of this fan because it's always in my way. And dump my inventory in this chest. Wee. Okay. Let's decorate and make it look nice. I did building. I feel so happy. It doesn't look incredibly horrible. Uh, so obviously I changed this out with light gray because green is a little bad. Here it is. This is the room. I had to do something about this face because it's kind of... It, it's, it's one block in the middle of an even thing. So they have to make it symmetrical or... I don't know. But it can't be this. Maybe I can hook up a monitor. No, that wouldn't work because you can't input. I don't know. But I got the trap doors on these gold blocks. I used the hammer. See so this, like behave wooden door. They now behave like iron doors. So you can't right click them open. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I used a weird t um, chisel, uh, chisel for the fantasy block that's gold on top but has this weird side texture. Same thing I use for these ones. So it's like this side texture, but it's that on top. So it doesn't exactly look like it's folding down. I didn't do anything down here because you're not even going to see that very much. Um, so iron, 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 iron. Yeah, so none of them should be able to be opened. You just stand here, right click, hit one, goodbye, and you're in. Nice and simple. And anytime I make a world, I will be building another one of those. And I was able to transport myself between them just by entering the destination I'm going to go to. Pretty neat. Okay, so I've added another uh, Miscraft world to this selection. It is world 16. And let's just go check it out real quick. It didn't work. Hmm. Put in 16, right? I don't think it's even possible to use a Miscraft world to travel in the same dimension. So, nothing happened? Um. Miscraft is bugged, guys. I think it ate my world. No, I, I generated a void world and I rebuilt this thing. It, it's just a box. And yeah, that's how I'm going to be getting around using multiple of, well, these things. They're all going to be pretty identical and they're all going to have corresponding numbers. Um, for instance, I haven't had, I don't say, <laughs> I don't have this set up yet, but I'll set it up right now. The idea is each world is going to have an index. This is going to obviously be world, world 1. Um, and then you're going to have world 16 is the one I just showed you. The um, mob spawner is world 2. So I just need to make sure that every one of these has access to world 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Obviously, when I actually build the index for this thing, it's going to be a little better. Or build the hub for that room, it's going to be a bit better. So now if I drop down to 16, I can put this in slot 2. Why are you in 1? Oh, wait, because that's where 1 is. So now this has access to 2 and 1. It's not going to have access to 16, though. And that's how that's going to work. It should be pretty handy when I start getting multiple dimensions, having like some kind of universal element that they each have. And I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it was pretty easy to build, it just took a computer and a turtle and a little bit of wire. And of course the trapdoors and stuff, it, it's not hard to build, I'll say that. But in the time it took me to do that, I've had background things going. Um, the steel production over here with this one blast furnace it's made exactly nine steel. Oh, it's out of iron. I should put more iron in. No, it's made more than this. I think I've about a stack of steel now, which is really good. 
Oh, almost a stack. Uh, it's got some iron. Not only that, the turtle quarries, or the turtles, I've set up a while ago. After playing with their code for like 10 hours and getting super frustrated, I finally got them to work somewhat. And they've gathered s s resources and junk. I think they're broken at this point, but they've been working. I saw them put most of the subsidian in. Uh, they've got some diamond, lots of iron, and all this co copyright is copper and actual copper. So lots of good stuff. Last episode, I made three turbines, wherever I put them. And this episode, I'd like to make two more. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I was supposed to make steam turbines. messed up. Let's take a look at this SP. Well, let's compare them. Two circuits becomes one circuit, which is much better. <laughs> um, these are each three steel. Let's just see if I have enough steel to make five. Probably not. This is eight steel. This is zero steel. So that's 11 steel per. That's 55. Yeah, I have enough steel. I could do this right now. I'm not giving up yet. I will get this thing working. And I will build the right blocks. Yeah. Do. 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 Do 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 bum 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 ba da dum bum 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 do 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 That is all for this episode. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Do 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 do